mediation of Hebrew. <coughs> so Allah told the verses to Gabriel and Gabriel whispered the verses to Muhammad so that he could recite them and other people would know them down. So that's revelation. It's not inspiration. It, it has not been inspired. It is the word of God. According to Muslims, the Quran contains the words of God, word for word. Buddhism uh, has the uh, three baskets, uh, which they call the uh, Tripitaka. Uh, and in it you will see the laws and the, uh, and, and the, uh, and the uh, philosophy of, for example, the uh, Ashtamangala, the eight auspicious symbols. What is it? What is the essence of their teaching? In Hinduism, the essence of the teaching is that they say, listen, karma leads to reincarnation or to God. So it's either you will be subject to the eternal cycle of life and death, after that, you'll be reborn, you'll reincarnate, and you'll become um, one of the 8,400,000 uh, 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 life forms. Or, you will be liberated, you'll get moksha, and when you have moksha, you will go to God. And who is God and what is God, I'll explain to you another time in Hinduism. Uh, Judaism believes in the Ten Commandments. So in uh, the book of Exodus, you will see that uh, Moses got the Ten Commandments. One of them was, thou shalt not kill. And you'll see, he ordered a lot of people to be killed. But that's another story. Um, so the Ten Commandments, those shall not steal, those shall not kill, those shall not uh, 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 covet thy neighbor's wife, and so on, uh, are the Ten Commandments. Very nice and very <coughs> civil uh, commandments, but they should be quite logical, uh, in, in my opinion. Christianity says uh, the essence is to believe that Jesus is God. Some say the essence is to know that he is the son of God, but he is not God. And some say he is part of the Holy Trinity. Uh, he is the Father, he is the Spirit, and he is God all in one. But he's still three. That's the Trinity. Uh, Islam says that the that uh, Muhammad was the last of the prophets, so there will be no other prophet anymore. He is the seal of the prophets, and everything he said and did is recorded in the uh, ahadith uh, of uh, Shahi Muslims, Shahi Bukhari, and so. And those are part of the Sharia law the holy Islamic law that, are, that is followed in a lot of Islamic uh, countries, such as uh, Saudi Arabia. They say there will be no other prophet, so there is no way in, 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 in the future that there will be a Muslim person or any person saying, listen Muslims, I am your new prophet. They won't believe it because the prophet himself said, it is not going to happen. Buddhism says everything fine and well. Uh, you know what? This is not about God. This is not about having fun. This is about suffering. And when you will suffer, you will come closer to God. And suffering is the way of life. They say, Accept life 
and be born and reborn. So there's no real fun in that if you're looking for it. Uh, on the other hand, Buddhism gives a lot of people a lot of food for thought. Uh, it's, it's quite uh, mystical and it doesn't force people to believe in a god, which other religions uh, would like you to, except of course for Hinduism, because uh, Hindus don't really care whether you are believing in one god or two gods or three gods. Uh, coming back to the god in, uh, 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 in, in Hinduism, which I promised earlier, is that uh, Hinduism says this is God, the creator, this is God, the sustainer, this is God, the destroyer. I have a philosophy which goes beyond that, which is for another day, but the common Hindu thought is that you have Shakti and you have Shiva. You have Vishnu, you have Lakshmi, you have Brahma, you have Saraswati. You have the male and the female entity, and there is the synergy between them. And none is above the other. Of course, there are sects now, Shaivism, Vaishnavism, uh, even Brahma Kumaris, and so they say, okay, our God is the supreme God. But usually the Hindus in India, for example, and the rest of the world, wherever they uh, went to, they don't care. In my family, we have people who believe in uh, Shiva. Uh, we have people uh, who believe in Vishnu. We have people who believe in uh, Shakti, the female form of, uh, uh, of, of a supreme being, uh, Goddess Durga, for example. So, if we, this is a quick uh, overview. I won't go too much in detail here. Uh, I say um, there is a uh, huge movement uh, of Abrahamic religions versus Hinduism. Uh, Buddhism, not so much. They don't care too much about it. The Buddhists are not subject to conversion. Uh, I have an issue with the fact that the Vatican wants to convert a lot of Hindus in the next few years in India. Um, conversion means that you want to bring someone into your realm because you think you are superior or your doctrine is superior. Uh, as I already said, Hinduism doesn't think like that. Uh, but <coughs> Muslims even think like that. You know that. Uh, Muslims think like that. Christians think like that, Jews not so much, but Jews on the other hand think that they are genetically superior to people, not uh, ideologically. Uh, so that's another issue. Um, which is not a statement by me, but it's a fact. Uh, they, uh, Jews say that. Uh, and I'll give you sources. Uh, here you will see a sheet uh, where I explain that um, Hindu gods are known to have been accommodated. They were, there were many gods, I would call them demigods, and they were not jealous of each other. They were not competing, they were not competitive, they were not hostile to each other. You have Indra, you have Varun, you have uh, 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 Vayu, uh, you have Surya, uh, you have uh, the uh, Vedic gods uh, like that. And they are friends. They do things together. They fight the demons together. So there is no jealousy. They are accommodating, they are friendly with each other. However, when you go a bit closer to history, our history, you'll see that the Greek gods, which came from Hindu gods, you may uh, challenge me on that, and we'll discuss that, but I'll tell you, Greek gods came from Hindu gods, but they became jealous gods. Roman gods became individualistic. It was about them only. And they were jealous. 
in Judeo-Christian tradition, uh, especially the Judeo-Christian uh, 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 tradition, you will see 